Good morning. My name is Mike Lawton and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Reflections from Christ Church. Today, I'm thinking about prayer and just a few thoughts about that. Now we know that Jesus died, was resurrected and ascended, and that made it possible for us to have a relationship with our Father. What a miracle that is and the Holy Spirit living within each one of us. But nonetheless, the disciples knew Jesus and they said to Jesus in Luke 11, Lord, teach us to pray. And he gave us the Lord's prayer, our Father in heaven. But just after that, he referred really to being persistent in our prayer. And he said this, Later on in chapter 11, I tell you, ask and it will be given you. Seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Now, we all know in our prayer life there have been times when prayers haven't been answered. And this can be a, a missile, if you like, to undermine people's faith. I've, I've known people just drift away from God because they've asked and nothing's happened. But in Luke 18, it says in verse one, always pray and not lose heart. And I've heard it said that you can have three things, uh, three answers to prayer. You can have yes and receive the answer. You can have wait. And then you can have no. And I'd like to deal with those. It is so wonderful when the Lord answers prayer. It deepens our faith in him and it, it makes us worship him even more because he does love us and he does answer our prayers. And we come to wait. Now, that is being patient, knowing that we have asked and we have sought. And we can seek the, the will of God through the scriptures. And indeed, I'd encourage each one of us to see what the scriptures say about prayer. But we should realize that it's a spiritual thing and there is a spiritual battle going on. Indeed, in Daniel, the answer to the prayer that was asked was delayed for three weeks, I believe, because there was a spiritual battle going on in the heavenly places. Now, sometimes when we, when we don't get answers to prayer, we just give up. And that's what Satan would like. But the Lord is saying, persist, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open. And if you consider what is in the scriptures and unites the will of God, then keep at it. Have a look at Jesus. I was once told in Sunday school, going back Sunday school days again, um, but, but they, they referred to Jesus and we, we learned a lot about Jesus. And, it, and also I was told, look, you may not always know what the will of God is, but from your knowledge of Jesus, just look at him and see what he would do. Now, he, he was concerned for the families of the disciples. And so it's not wrong to ask the Lord to do things for our loved ones, whether they love the Lord or not, you love the Lord. And so we can do that. And we know it's God's will because you love them and he loves them too. And very often it's a way of them coming to the Lord as well. It is essential to know the Lord's will, though. And as I say, that means that we should seek and we should study in the Bible. And if you find in the Bible something that rings true to you, then keep praying it in. And as I say, there, there was resistance in heavenly places to not bring this about. And I know some people will then sometimes say, well, the answer is, could be no. Jesus knew the will of God. 
And some people say, well, you can say, nevertheless, not my will, but I be done. Absolutely right. But when Jesus said that, he said to the Father, not my will, but thine be done. He knew, although he was asking, is there another way, if you like, but he knew what the Father's will was, and he was prepared to go through with it. So I would say to you, do persevere in prayer. Don't just give up. And know that we have a loving Father who wants to bless each one of us. And even whilst we wait, he will patiently be with us. And whilst we're waiting, we might just as well think, well, what else, Lord, would you like me to pray about in this world? Because Jesus spent every morning praying. And he wasn't just praying for the disciples, for, for their, the health of, of their families or anything like that. He was praying for the furtherance of the gospel. He was praying for situations in the world that were happening. And we too have that privilege. So I would just like to leave that with you, that prayer is a privilege. There's a lot more involved in it, but do not give up, persevere, and give the glory to Jesus. Shall we pray? Lord, I just thank you that you are there. I thank you that you've opened doors for us to come to you. I thank you that we have that relationship with you. And Lord, we know that there is a spiritual battle going on and spiritual warfare. And if any way our prayers can help, then Lord, encourage us to pray. Show us your will. Let your Holy Spirit reveal things to us that you want prayed about. And we thank you, Lord. Even so, the Holy Spirit is praying constantly on our behalf. So we thank you, Lord, for this. May God bless each one of you.